It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. Lab 1 Project Design Document In this first ever lab session, you will begin the preliminary work required to successfully create a personal project in this course. First, you'll learn what a personal project is, what the goals for it are, and what the potential limitations are. Then you will take the time to come up with an idea and outline in detail in your design document, including a timeline for when you hope to complete certain features. Finally, you will take some time to draw a sketch of your project to help you visualize it and share your idea with others. Project outcome. The design document will be filled out including the concept, a timeline, and a preliminary sketch of the minimum viable product. Again, you're going to follow the videos here. Welcome to your very first lab session, where you will begin working on your own personal projects. Unlike the prototypes, where we are working on the same type of project together, in these labs, you'll be working on your own project, which will be completely different from mine. You have the great power of coming up with a unique concept for your project. But as you know, with great power comes great responsibility. You are responsible for making sure you actually finish it. You need to take the time to think through your idea and plan out how you'll get it done. So by the end of this lesson, you will have completed a design document for your project, including an outline of the concept and timeline for completing it. Here's the tricky thing about coming up with a concept for your project. On one hand, you want it to be unique and amazing and like nothing the world has ever seen. On the other hand, you want it to be complete and functional and playable. You want all of these things, but unfortunately, they're kind of at odds. Now don't get me wrong, it is possible to create a unique, amazing project like nothing the world has ever seen that is also complete, functional, and playable, but it would just take a lot of time. And I don't mean hours or days, I mean years. And maybe not just years of your life, years of other people's lives. To make some of the console games you might have played before, it can literally take hundreds of people thousands of hours, which means we're talking about hundreds of thousands of human hours to make some of these products. So given that, the trick here is figuring out how much time you have to dedicate to this project, then striking a balance between uniqueness and completeness to get the best possible outcome. Here are two tips for how you can do that. First, in this course, as you create different prototypes, you'll learn how to program a ton of awesome different features. So why not build on those features that you already know how to program instead of having to figure out everything from scratch? The second thing we'll do to make sure we actually complete what we set out to do is not try to make a full-featured, production-ready, highly polished project. Instead, our goal will be to make a minimum viable product, or MVP. A minimum viable product is a version of your project that has enough features and looks good enough to satisfy early users, allowing you to get feedback for future development. So in completing this design document, recognize your time constraints, build on the features you have, and aim for an amazing minimum viable product. Now let's start creating. Make sure you press mark complete to work on this creativity project lab one project design document quiz one now that you finish unit one once you complete this assignment don't forget to save it and then turn it into your teacher